Uh, let's see, connecting, recording. Uh, do you have a camera by any chance, or is this it? Um, I'll see if I can get that working. I should hope my crack security analyst can get the camera working. <laughs> Need to get to a facility. Uh, it's too secure in here to have cameras available. Good answer. Um, listen, Callan, um, I'm Costas Torregas. I'm the CEO uh, of I, and uh, I really love this company. I wanted to succeed, and uh, right now I woke up this morning, and I got all sorts of massive shocks uh, called from the board of directors chair, called from the local newspaper editor that we're under attack, and uh, I have no idea what's going on. So I need you to tell me what's going on. Yeah, well, the, the press tends to blow those concerns out of proportion, but uh, we have experienced an attack. Uh, it looks like it's coming from, uh, from Pakistan. Um, they're, they're currently attacking our, our Windows Active Directory and DNS server. So we're in the process of uh, fully uh, reinstalling that, which is why it appears- I have no idea what DNS and Active oh, Directory- right, right. Okay, yeah. what, is, what, what is it doing to my customers? What is it doing to my clients? So it, right now it doesn't appear to impact the clients. Um, it's, they can send me emails. The clients can, yes, but it's a it's on the internal network. Uh, it it's working at uh, at half functionality until we finish bringing that back up. Okay, so uh, this is I'm Jay. I'm the chief revenue officer of the company. I don't, I don't think we've ever met, mm -hmm. but so when you say half working, what does that mean? So the Linux. Uh, side of the Active Directory and DNS is, is, is running, but the uh, Windows DNS isn't. So um, what is that the, from, from a leadership team perspective, what does that mean? That, mm, we, that people can work or they can't work? They can work. It just uh, it adds another step in the process of, uh, of connecting to, to websites. OK, and, and sorry, I didn't want to leave that one. But, but and going back to your original point, so right now, from a revenue perspective, our clients can still get to our e-commerce site. Uh, yes. Okay. Keep going, uh, Callan. Oh um, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So, so like email and e-commerce, and uh, um, those are both running. Um, so we're we're looking at a. Uh, how to block this attack. We're currently configuring firewall rules uh, and our entire infrastructure team is on deck um, monitoring the network and, and actively uh, and knocking out um, these attacks. Now, uh, you, you mentioned Hakistan and my hair stood on the edge. Uh, four or five mm -hmm. years ago, I remember those damn people were attacking an election system that I was responsible for and it was uh -huh. a mess and they don't give up easily um is it is it is it possible that they'll go away with their tail between their legs what what are you going to do to make sure that if they actually stay within our systems that i can go to sleep at night right well we'll be sure to kick them out of the systems but uh once we're once we get this firewall configured and determine their entire ip range um it'll take them some time to uh reconfigure their side and that should keep them out of our network for at least a while a while meeting um well we'll be constantly ready if they come back but uh up to a couple days or weeks <laughs> and if they were able to get in were they able to exfil any data do we know no it, it looks like they uh they did get into our network but no data has been leaked yet there's no exfiltration so there's a uh, no concern for the customer's personal information. That, that was going to be my next question. Medical records, client data, all protected? Yeah, all protected as of now. We're, we're monitoring for exfiltration and we'll block that if, if uh, anything comes up. But uh, it's unlikely as we're, we're kicking them from the network. And how many people do you have working with you, Callan? Um, well, the lead team is eight of us, but uh, there's a, a whole uh, a whole branch of, of your company. And those eight people, can I be sure that you communicate well with one another? How do you manage uh, today 
uh, to stay in touch and to communicate uh, priorities and to change priorities on the fly. Right. Well, yeah, due to the, the whole quarantining thing, we're, we're able to communicate remotely um, and we're all uh, effectively uh, able to share information with kind of like with this online infrastructure that we're using now. So you're connected with digital infrastructure to the other seven. Yes, and, and that's through a, a separate secure channel that yeah, appears yes. to have no uh, not been impacted at all by the hack. Uh, if I'm a smart Pakistani and I'm, I'm going to go after that communication network, right? Right, but that's far easier to secure because it's just the eight of us and not the uh, the clients network and and the thousands of employees. Huh. So what does that say about the system we're using now? Should I stop doing whatever I'm doing and, and use your system? Is your system No, it's better? just that for, for individuals, the, the burden of setting that up is more than a, a customer would be able to deal with. Um, mm -hmm. But for in order to get rid of the Pakistani um, people uh, or the intruders, it's, uh, it's, it's worth the extra security just to be sure that they're not on the inside of uh, our security team as well. Well, I, I don't know, Callan, um, since your question about the revenues coming in was a positive one, I want to make sure that from a technical side, things are going all right as well. So I'm going to ask my CTO, um, Casey, uh, to weigh in with any questions he might have so that I can hear your answer and feel more confident about your ability to help preserve my company. Casey, Perfect. Anything you heard that worries you? Well, um, just maybe a, 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 a question. And so the country of Pakistan is state sponsored. And so they, you know, essentially have not unlimited, but um, lots of resources available. And I'm curious, you know, given um, some of what you said, are there, are there any additional resources that you could use to, to help in this fight against uh, the state sponsored actor? Yeah, we, uh, we could call in, uh, our our state sponsored actors like the FBI or if it uh, reached the point where it was uh, um, the legal activity of, of sorts that we we're willing to go after that country. Do you, do you have any any That's documentation it. or any any sort of artifacts that we could compile? Uh, we, we do have access to a uh, to an external team that can help with some initial uh, incident response, and I hate to get the get the feds involved for a lots of obvious reasons, you know, right. um, given the nature of our work and the kinds Certainly. of contracts we have. So is that is that something? And if so, you know, do, are you are you comfortable or at least understand the proper channels to go through to request that sort of support? Yeah, that's a decision that would have to be left to the CEO. But if if he decides that we do want to bring in the feds. Uh, I believe we do have the, the proper channels to go through to um, make that happen uh, as quickly as possible. Jay, were you going to say something? No, I'm just listening. Oh, okay. Okay. So, well, well uh, but, but short of, you know, bringing in the feds, you know, we do have an incident response team that we, that, that could be leveraged and have right. you thought about. Yeah, we have been submitting incident reports um, and, uh, I, they can take whatever action is necessary based on the information that we're giving them. Okay. And so, yeah, so it'll be incumbent on you then to make sure you follow up with them to, you know, see if they have everything they need and the artifacts are, you know, such that, that they, you know, they can do what they need to do. And if we do have to, right. you know, we do have to get some external support from a, a federal agency, secret service, for example, want to make sure that, Obviously, we get uh, the approval of the CEO, Dr. Tregas and Jay, and we're going to ha we'll have to bring in our public relations folks and right make right. sure we have the proper sort of messaging. So we'll be sure to keep the information up to date on our side then so that they have the latest uh, on the state of our network. That's it for um, me, gentlemen. Uh, I'm, uh, I mentioned to you that I'm, I'm going to have to meet with our board of directors tomorrow afternoon. And uh, just hearing from you, you sound like an intelligent young man, uh, that you've got a pretty good grasp of what's going on. But 
you know, you're not going to be with me when I make my presentation to the board. God forbid I bring a techie to my board, <laughs> but maybe you can help me. In 24 hours, I want to have another discussion with you and my team here and my executive team. And I want you to prepare for me some kind of a plan, some kind of a report that would uh, calm down this situation I have. You may think it's all rosy, but I don't. Right. It's a terrible disaster. So I want you to be prepared and tell me three things. Number one, what are the systems as our clients see them, not as you techie guys see them, but as our clients see them? And how, how have they done the last day? Are, are there hopes to do better? How are they doing as, as late as when you compile the report? Uh, and then finally, uh, now that I've met you, you sound like a creative guy. I want to hear from you. I want to hear wh what else you might need. How can I help make your job better? Because if you do your job well, I get my bonus. And that's all I care about. All right. right. Sounds good. We'll get you that information in 24 hours. All right. All right. Thanks, Callan. Thank you. Yeah.